What's the Right Shot? Episode number 58, The Answer. Well, hey guys, hi, it is Brent Abel, webtennis.com, back here with you with the answer segment video to What's the Right Shot, episode number 58, and um, this is kind of where we started the point uh, on a couple days ago, and a couple of uh, comments about the great Guy Needham's big, massive backhand return to serve, and I actually said that... Uh, couple things he does here is he starts you can't really see it i suppose but he actually starts in this ready position with a full eastern backhand grip really kind of hoping that uh he he gets a ball to his left to his backhand and if he doesn't someone serves his forehand he quickly makes that adjustment to uh a forehand grip but uh, he, he is always loaded up for a backhand and so number one, that is a tough thing to do. Start with that extreme of grip. And then the other thing I talked about here on this backhand return of service, he really wraps the racket around his waist, which, you know, he's done this forever, and he can get out of this swing shape pretty easy uh, for him. But for the rest of us, this is a, this is a pretty extreme tough setup. So um, that that being said... He absolutely crushes this ball, and you know it's one of those things where it's barely over the top of the net, and uh, this is yours truly, and I'm just just fighting it off, just trying to get the thing back, and uh, dribbles back, and then John makes a nice reaction to it, and uh, you know barely gets to it, missing almost bounces twice, and I think he does a good job number one to keep it away from me because I'm looking for something I can. You know, I'm really now looking for, and, and this is something else we've talked about. Here's sort of an unintended opportunity that that I end up getting. It's not my intention, but you know, it's the way it works out, and I got to be looking for it now. And you know, what can I, what can I take advantage of? And John really does a great job here, uh, getting the thing away from me. And now we stopped it right about here. And I asked you, you know, what shot would you play? Uh, most people said, you know, right here in the middle would be a great spot for it. I totally agree with that. A few of you said, you know, just drop it right here. And I think that that's a real good possibility. It is the highest part of the net. Um, the, the, the only thing here is that Cliff is, you know, he's really back behind the service line. Kind of hard to tell from this angle. So that's going to make it a little bit tough of a drop shot. Um, and then some of you said, you know, just, just play it at the line. And the only shot I don't like is this one here. Because if Guy does get this, if Guy right here gets over to the ball in the alley, and if if Cliff, by going over here, kind of forces him uh, out of the court even more, uh, then, you know, it's Guy against me. And uh, I just don't like those odds. So um, here's what Cliff does. And, and what, let me back up one more thing. The other thing I said, you know, the teaching part of this video was I want to make sure that, okay, if this is going to be your high percentage shot, that you choose the right shot to hit over there. A lot of people said, not a lot, but enough people said top spin to get me thinking that I want you to be thinking that if you're going to be running over here for this shot, to receive the shot that guy, I mean, that uh, John's just played, if you're thinking about loading up for topspin here, that, you know, topspin, the swing shape, will kind of, the way it works, it, it'll keep you moving out of the court more. And so my thought here is that, um, is you got to consider, number one, where you want to hit it. But number two, what's the swing shape going to do for your recovery? And I think in this case, a little topspin here doesn't help you. I think it pulls you out of the court more. That's why I like the slice and that's what cliff does he plays a little bit of a slice and yet look at how far out of the court he is and so if he'd gone up here with that shot if he'd gone here and and been that far out of the court i mean you can see that he's not gonna have time to recover and it's just me against the world well 
uh, you know, guy ends up getting to it and actually kind of jams himself a little bit and just pops it up. And this is, uh, you know, an opportunity for me. I need to get on this ball early and give it some carve, you know, really because here's the target. I got to get this thing over there. And, uh, you know, sure enough, that's what I end up doing is getting it to that target. Now, guy takes a look at it, not sure. He's not sure, and, you know, if we back this thing up, John, if you watch John over here, John gives it the, uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. And and yet, if we go back and take a look at this thing, I uh, kind of think this, uh, this forehand volley might have been just a hair deep. Let's see if we can stop it right at the point of contact here where it ends up on the court. And, oh my gosh, it's out. Well, guy's looking right at it. But, you know, being a good guy, he's not sure. And so what does he do? He first calls it out correctly. There's the finger pointing out. And then he kind of takes another look back at it going, you know what, I'm not sure. And that's when John comes in and gives it the old... Uh, uh, John gives it the safe sign. Well, we end up uh, actually overruling these guys at the end of the point. But uh, right below the video, blah, blah, blah. I've been doing a lot of just ab living here. Uh, what do you think? What's on your mind? Let me know. Make it another great day out.